Hi everyone, John here. And yes, today we're going to talk about sport versus classic trim on the X100 XK8 XKR. Um, but as I'm filming this, we're into August, well into August actually, and uh, just haven't been able to get up here and flip my calendar over. So let's go over to the XK8 XKR calendar and say bye-bye to Dave Vernon in Canada. And we say hello to Steve Farrow. It's a really nice moody shot of his beautiful red 2001 XKR, which is in Kansas City, Missouri, USA. Great shot, that. And as always, hello and thanks to all of our thumbnail photos that have ended up on the bottom of that page. If you haven't already voted on this year's X100 photo competition, get over to that video right now. I'll put a link in the description below this, which will take you there if, you, if it helps and get involved with the fun. Remember, if any individual votes for the exact 12 that end up the overall 12 winners, I'll send them a little prize in the post. So, uh, yeah, join in the fun. Well, here's Purdy. It's a little bit dirty at the moment because I've been out in it. But it's a reasonable day, so I thought it was time to do what I promised to do and compare some photos of classic trim versus sport trim. Now, Purdy is an early 1996 XK8 Sport. Now there's two reasons there's confusion around this word sport. This is genuinely registered as an XK8 Sport. Some people, because they think, oh, well, you know, it's gonna be the more sporting, more capable car. It's not. There are only two specs, if you like, of X100, which are superior in terms of performance one is you can specify the R pack, which gives you upgraded suspension, upgraded brakes. And of course you can specify CATS dampers. And CATS dampers are the active dampers and they can be added to any XK8. Other than that, if you want to go quicker, you have an XKR. And an XKR is the supercharged variant of this vehicle. And obviously across the years, the, the car's got quicker and better, so a later car is always going to be a better prospect. But Sport has no connection with Sporting Prowess. It's a trim level. And unlike most cars that have got the option of Sport, Sport is actually by far the least often chosen spec. The vast majority of you guys out there, if you have an XK8 rather than an XKR, will have classic trim. And because it's a Jag and the options are so variable and you can really spec them up however you like, um, it's very hard to pin down a basic sport versus a basic classic. But mine is a sport. And because it's slightly cheaper, you could say the sport is the lower spec. Um, I don't actually hold with that because the options list means you can make any sport higher spec than any classic. But yeah, the starting point was lower. So if we're looking for the briefest possible description of what is sport spec, sport spec is identified most easily by looking at the seats in your car. Early cars, Lear seats with the integral headrest, late cars, Recaro seats with a separate headrest. In both cases, if you have horizontal pleats in your seat, like mine, you've got a sports spec car. Far and away, the greater number of XK8s have classic trim, which has got several narrow pleats vertically in the seats. Also, 
classic spec has matching stitching. S sports spec can have contrast stitching. So mine has black stitching on oatmeal seats. Then we flick over to the door cards and a theme running through the sport spec cars is high contrast. And on a classic trim car, this panel here is almost always, but not always, almost always in sable. Or mushroom, if you want a more descriptive phrase. All sport trimmed cars will have black door caps, cards and dashboard tops or charcoal as we call it in Jaguar world. Likewise, this would be matching in with your seats on most classic trim cars, but it's black on a sports car. Sports car again starts to make people think, oh, this is a quick one. No, it's not. <laughs> also, we have this contrast panel here, which really makes it pop. And on sports, this is cloth. It's quite an unusual cloth. It's a waffle cloth, really three dimensional and textured, which actually matches the speaker trim material in terms of look, but it's not actually perforated. And of course it's a different color. Standard sport spec is these seats with this stitching. However, the inserts are cloth. And that brings up again some really high contrast options such as charcoal black leather seats with oatmeal inserts, but you can have black with charcoal. Mine is a sport with the leather option. All the seats have leather on them, but the leather option puts the lever back into the inserts. Another thing to note is the leather on the sport in the inserts is perforated, <clears throat> which to modernize looks relatively modern because that's really common on cars now, but it looked a little bit more racy at the time. This is a sports trim steering wheel because we see black perforated leather and a black center pad. Again, this high contrast look. However, standard sports wheels would not have wood. So my car is sports trim with the leather pack and the wood wheel option. When I first got the car, I thought maybe the steering wheel had faded or that somebody had specced something rather unusual, but this is the normal combination that goes together. It rather surprises me that they didn't have a darker wood to go with this dashboard. But when you look up close, it is actually black staining on the wood. There is a gold element in the lacquer on the wheel. And then when we move over to the dash, which is very, very dark, and a lot of photographs I take of my car, people think I've got a piano black dashboard. Actually, it's got a lot of figuring in it, but it's the smoked or tinted finished bird's eye maple. And when you look close, the colors within it, there's a lot of gold and there's a lot of black over the top of the natural bird's eye maple color. You come down to the center console, again, we've got the dark wood. And my gear stick knob is not standard because it's one I was given as a gift from one of our subscribers, Michael Emerson. Thank you so much, Michael. As you can see, I've still got this, still love it. Um, and it's got a Jaguar watch face inset into it but the actual gear stick knob is a Jaguar Sport gear stick knob it's just one that Michael has modified to add in 
this um, black chromed clock bezel as well. And again, you can see the gold and black tinting, if you like, over the top of the wood finish. Down here, you've also got a blackened chrome, and this stem is black, whereas this would be chrome finish on most classics. Just a heads up on my instruments, the chrome bezels are not standard. They're something I added myself. Um, but again, I think they go well with the dark wood. When we look down into the footwells, we see charcoal carpets. On a classic, you could specify these, but they're a very rare option. And if you're out and about or a show, look at XK8s and see how many have black carpets. Not many. XKRs, on the other hand, do tend to come with a lot more of the sport options because people who bought them were predominantly after the higher performance car and they wanted any of the looks that went with that more sporting look. So if you've got an XK8 and it's got any of this stuff I'm showing you, it is really in the minority. Classic, probably about 10 to 1. I will look into seeing if I can find the figures on this. I've not found any yet on classic versus sport. But my own view, being somebody who looks at a lot of XK8s, XKRs, X100s, is if it's an XK8, you're probably looking at 10% or less, which are sport trim. So there's a degree more of colour coordination on the classic, i.e. door cards, carpets, etc. tended to blend together depending on what colour you had for your trim, which, lend, which leads on to another little feature of the sport in that it's quite common to have a colour coordinated tono which matches your roof colour. However, on a sport trimmed car, you will have these elements in black. And because these are black, so is the standard tono, regardless of roof color. So my, color, my car, for instance, has a green roof. So on a classic trimmed car, that might have the jade or green tono, or a black tono, or a cream tono because cream is the interior colour and therefore it's going to match in with these panels. Sport car, black. Jaguar used the unlikely phrases complex personality for classic and somewhat more sensibly coordinated tones and colours and for the sport model they used the phrase Focused intensity. Yeah, <laughs> real marketing speak. So I've owned both cars. I can't give you a strong preference for either, but I think both have their charms and their merits. I bought this car to replace PJ, my original, which was a classic. And one of the draws was it had the sport interior which made it a little bit different in the way it appeared to most XK8s. So that was a draw for me. Do I think it's better? No, not really. If I was going to point out one thing that I think is actually better from a technical point of view is the use of perforated leather here and here. I think that is technically better, but in all other regards, I think it's, you know, it's just a personal choice thing. So we're going to leave this one here, folks, mainly because, believe it or not, here in Lincolnshire, it is a bit too hot for me to stop out there any longer chatting with you guys. Who'd have thought it? It's about 32, 33 degrees at the moment. Oof. For us, that's way up there. So I'm going to wish you all well and look forward to seeing you all soon. Remember, vote on the photo competition before it's too late. That closes on the 31st of August. Bye. If you just go to Amazon forward slash shop 
forward slash to the garage and I'll put that link in the description below so that it's, you can just click on it. It takes you to a to the garage area of Amazon that is categorized into hand tools, power tools, gadgets and gizmos, things specifically the XK8 etc. But I've bought from Amazon over the years so that you can follow the same links and have a look see how much those cost at the moment. Nice little feature, thank you Amazon. If you're enjoying our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And please give us a thumbs up or thumbs down and you can share the videos. And below the video is always the area where you can comment and get involved with the chat.